After falling 1-0 in the third and final group match here at the Algarve Cup, the United States women's national team finds itself in an unfamiliar position outside of the Algarve Cup final for the first time in 10 years. There's still a lot to play for, however, as the USA's opponent in the third place match is very familiar. Sweden, one of the top ranked teams in the world and a country the USA played three times in 2011. All of us are really disappointed to lose against Japan and um, you know, obviously we want to finish out this tournament strong. Um, it's important for us to bounce back come together as a team, um, kind of regroup and, and focus on what we need to do in, in the next game and um, come out as strong as possible. Because right now we're preparing for the Olympics and we need to be good to go, you know, come this summer. Anytime, yeah, you have a loss, obviously we're going to be upset. You know, it's the whole point of training and working hard and developing um, ourselves as, within the team and stuff is to win games. So obviously yesterday was a disappointing loss, but we have a big task ahead of us with Sweden. And this is just like any other um, kind of preparation for a world championship. You know, if you have a loss in the World Cup um, or the Olympics, then you move forward. There's always a, a good feeling. You lost, you can learn from that and bring it to the next game. Uh, we need to bring one thing, um, keep the ball and knowing when to penetrate. Sweden is a very dynamic team with great forwards that um, provide a great counterattack. Uh, you know, our defense is going to have to work really hard in, in the game and um, it's going to be great preparation for us. They're always a physical team. They're um, soccer savvy and they usually play a 4-4-2 like us and um, present like a good physical game with some speed and athleticism as well. Um, so I think if we can kind of regroup and um, keep the ball at the right times, but um, you know, be a little bit more dynamic and um, in the final third and capitalize on our chances, then um, plus play good def team defense, I think we'll be okay. I think that going into this next Sweden game, uh, it's going to be important for us to keep the ball. I think against Japan, we didn't really do a great job of uh, holding our possession. Uh, we gave it to them way too much and, you know, they ended up having the ball most of the match. And so I think next game we're going to look to dominate a little bit more, um, have the ball in our court and uh, hopefully, um, you know, take it away. If you dispossess too early, then it will be a lot of defending. Uh, but if you, if we have a little bit of a, you know, a little bit more patience in the way we attack, they will drop off, and uh, whoever is playing up top in Sweden will not be uh, as dangerous. Sweden's a very talented team. I think that they're going to provide a good challenge for us um, in the game, and uh, that's going to help us prepare for the Olympics. So we're excited to play against them. That's it for this final edition of Studio 90 from the Algarve Cup in Portugal. A reminder: you can follow the USA's third place match against Sweden on ussoccer.com's Match Tracker and via Twitter at ussoccer underscore WNT.